Good morning and happy Thursday. Today is December 28th, 2017. This is my week 29 uh, post VSG surgery update. Just starting off with the stats like always. Back in November of 2016, I joined my bariatric program out of Bay State Medical Center in Springfield, Massachusetts, weighing 234 pounds. Excuse me. I just took a sip right before I made the video, so if I hiccup through the video, excuse me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. On my day of surgery, which was June 5th, 2017, I weighed 219 pounds, and on Christmas morning, I weighed 143.6, which is a 2.2 pound loss from uh, week 28, which is very happy. I'm loving it. I don't know about next, I, I plan to be here on New Year's Day to make the video, uh, my week 30. And due to the way that I ate on Christmas Eve and on Christmas, I don't, I, I'm kind of, I'm expecting to either be the same weight or have my first gain um, since surgery because I totally ignored everything. Um, I mean, I didn't eat a lot because I have the sleeve, so <laughs> it's not like you can eat a lot, but my food choices were not my typical choices. Um, I just ordered, on Christmas Eve, it's a tradition that we, or, we order Chinese food. And um, I got my soup, I, I get egg drop soup, and I very much like it. Um, but I also had a chicken wing, and I had a scallion pancake. Um, the soup sat great in my belly. It's the chicken wing and the scallion pancake that I don't think, so. I, I don't know if it was one or the other or both. I'm assuming that it's both, um, but it sounded, <laughs> it, it sounded like I had swallowed an angry kitten on Christmas Eve and I, all of my belly did was a all night for like, well, not all night, but like for an hour or two, um, which made it mighty festive because everybody could laugh at my, even my, even at my own cat was looking at it going, Ooh. so I don't think my belly had any idea what to do with, um, those, you know, the, the deep, uh, the deep fat fried or the deep fried or however you want to say it that they do to the chicken and also to the scallion pancake. Um, both tasted great in my mouth and like typical, the belly just didn't like it. And on Christmas day, um, you know, like I said, not the best food choices that I made, I could have made. I did have um, more sugar. I have to move this because I'm getting a glare off of this window. So forgive me. Um, but I did eat some cookies. Um, I ate like four cookies. They were, they're really small ones. They're like the size of a quarter and they're like an inch thick. Um, they're called snowballs or in my family we call them Russian tea cakes. And they're just, it's like a, a very dry sugar cookie dough and they're circles and you just roll them in confectionery sugar and voila. Sometimes you have like pecans or walnuts in them, um, but I can't even have the excuse of getting any protein out of it because uh, it had nothing. It was just flour and sugar. <laughs> oh, um, but they were damn good and I noticed that on Tuesday and Wednesday, like, 
I think that on Christmas, eating those cookies was the most sugar that I have had since surgery. Absolutely. Because um, I woke up the next day, Tuesday, having such crazy cravings for... I, are you ready? Like Pop-Tarts. I wanted Pop-Tarts. I wanted to have a bowl of cereal, very first thing when I woke up. Um, I wanted to hit Dunkin's and go get um, one of those French crullers and a cup of coffee. I can't eat that <laughs> and I can't drink coffee so I don't know where the cravings are coming from. Um, but Tuesday and Wednesday, it was like, okay, I should really hide my keys because these, they were very strong cravings. It, it was, it was uncomfortable. So I didn't like that. Um, and that is pretty much, so I did eat whatever I wanted. I did have the ramifications of the, the cravings, the crazy cravings and salading like I um, swallowed an angry kitten. But all in all, my Christmas was outstanding. Best Christmas ever. Um, and truth be told, it had nothing to do with my weight. Um, just totally, totally enjoying um, my family, my, my daughter, if I haven't said it enough on YouTube, she is outstanding. Um, she gave me the best gift I have ever received in my entire life. And um, she likes to watch my videos. So my favorite present of all times is my box of paper squares. Um, and it's magnificent. So I will say, I hope that each and every one of you has had a wonderful Christmas. I hope that you had tons of cheer and joy and were surrounded by your family and friends and you had gifts galore. And um, it doesn't, you know, whether those are tangible gifts or just the gift of having family and friends who love and care about you, uh, that's a gift in itself. As I did mention, I should be here on New Year's Day. I don't foresee me not making the video, um, but there is that chance. Uh, but I, I should be here next week, or not next week, on Monday um, to do my video. But I did want to mention one more thing, just a little throw it in there type of thing. Uh, Someone noticed that I ate everything <laughs> with chopsticks, and I got asked, why do you do that? So I thought that I would share it with the people who actually can use it and to be helpful. So I've used chopsticks since I got out of surgery, well, <laughs> since I started eating solid food since I got out of surgery. And the reason for that is, number one, Using chopsticks slows me down as far as with a fork, I can just shovel whatever I want in there, right? Using chopsticks, it's it feels more delicate to me. Um, I have my little Chinese bowl, and if you've watched any of my videos, I can usually have between a quarter and a half a cup, and that's my meal. So everything goes in there, um, including my spinach salad. So let's say I'm having a spinach salad. I take my chopsticks and I pick up a cucumber. I eat the cucumber, I put my chopsticks down. Then I pick them back up and I get some spinach and maybe a pickle and I eat that and I put my chopsticks down. So it helps you take smaller bites and um, gives you time to chew and reflect, am I full, do I need that next bite? Am I full, do I need that next bite type of deal. Um, and it, it's just something that I've always done since um, being having surgery. So I hope that that helps and maybe you can pass it on to, you know, you can try it yourself or you can pass it on to someone you know who's having issues um, or trying to slow themselves down from eating too fast or taking smaller bites. Um, and all the more power to you if you don't know how to use chopsticks because that's going to slow you down a lot more. <laughs> um, 
so there that is. I hope that everybody has a beautiful New Year's and please be well and be safe. If you're going to drink, please don't get behind that wheel. There are many families out there that don't want to lose family members. So happy, happy New Year. Drink responsibly and please, please, please do not drink and drive. Other than that, I will see you all next, uh, I'll see you all on Monday. Be well.